It's time for another wedding event. Woo! I suppose it's quite fitting since this time of the year is basically the start of wedding season. I am surprised it's already back, but hey, whatever. <laughs> hey guys, it's Corgi. And today I'm gonna cover the two newest suits from the fourth round of happiness, as well as general info for the honeymoon Holy Land event and the corresponding cumulative read chart. Only the fourth round and beyond will have the general info about the event, as all previous events will just cover the suit stats. This video is part of my happiness mini series where I'll be covering all of the suits from the previous rounds of happiness. Once they're done, I'll put them all into a playlist for easy viewing. I originally planned on making this a single video with all the info for this current round of happiness as well as the stats of the two new suits, but I think I'll make the stats into a separate video since it'll make it easier on me and this video won't be so long. The two new suits that are introduced in the fourth order of happiness are Dream Wedding and Farewell to Boudoir. And here's the video that shows the two suits. Honeymoon Holy Land is technically the formal name of this event, however, everyone basically shores it to happiness since that's the section of the gallery that you can find these suits in. This is a 7 day event that will take place June 1st through June 7th. Then a separate event map where you complete stages for Oath Rings, which is this event's currency and you'll use that currency to exchange for suit parts. Each stage has a specific theme where you compete against other players to see who will score higher, which is basically how the arena works as well as a side note. If you win, you'll get 5 Oath Rings, and if you lose, you'll get 3 Oath Rings. For each day of the event, you'll get 3 free attempts per stage, which totals to 15 free attempts per day. You can also buy 3 attempts for 30 diamonds. In addition to using diamonds for purchasing additional attempts, you'll also have to use stamina with each attempt. And each attempt will cost 4 stamina. Basically, if you are currently farming any lifetime suits, I would probably not do that for this event. Because you're going to need that stam for this event. Unless you're not participating in it at all, then you wouldn't need to conserve stamina. If you have any plans on getting anything from this event, then I suggest until you get everything that you want to get from this current round that you hold off farming for any lifetime suits. And for those who are unfamiliar with happiness, this particular event comes back periodically, so any extra Oathrins you have won't disappear. Which I will show here. Here you can see my extra Oathrins that I didn't use from the previous rounds of happiness. In my case, this is my second round of happiness since I started playing Love Nikki back in early February. And while the event comes back and the suits themselves aren't inherently more expensive to complete over time to my knowledge, it will cost more to newer players trying to catch up because there are more suits to complete. And also, if you haven't completed the Real Life Dream suit to fulfill the wedding dress requirement for Chapter 3 S2, this is the perfect opportunity for you to get a wedding dress since it'll be hella easier to get one during this event versus trying to craft that particular suit. And then during this event, there will also be a limited time housing path where you can get Lilith furniture and decorations. And like any other pavilion, it's a money pit, or in this case, a diamond pit, because you're gonna get a bunch 
of duplicates before completing it. And also, to my surprise, we are also getting a Kuna recharge for this gorgeous suit, which is Guardian of Purity. Uh, unicorns and new makeup. All you need to do to get this gorgeous suit is to recharge 360 VIP EXP, which is $5.99 USD. Honestly, I wasn't expecting another Q to recharge so soon, especially since we just had a hell event. And this suit is also pretty cheap. Now, when I saw the picture originally, I thought that the backer came with it, but after looking more into it, no, the background does not come with the suit. You have to buy the background separately in free dressing, and it will cost diamonds if you want to purchase that background. There's a few ways to reach the 360 VIP EXP to complete the suit. First, if you have packs in your mailbox that reach or exceed 360 VIP EXP. And this is what I plan on doing because I already have a few packs, so this suit won't cost me any additional money. Next, you can buy diamonds directly from the shop. Each diamond purchased here will equal one VIP EXP. Any diamonds received from a double recharge won't count towards that amount. And you can achieve this by either buying the 550 tier or by a combination of the 260 tier and the 100 tier. And then finally, you can buy packs from the user shop or daily deal shop. And in certain cases, you can also buy the $1 special. The VIP EXP from these packs will count towards that total. If you don't already have packs in mailbox that reach 360 VIP XP or more, then the way to spend the least amount of money would be to do a direct recharge. If you have really bad luck with the daily deals and don't still have the $1 special. If you happen to still have your $1 special, you can get that as well as a daily deal. Assuming a $4.99 one pops up during the course of the event. And for my thoughts, what do I think of Happiness 4? Compared to some of the previous suits, I definitely like both of these a lot. However, depending on the stats, I might not complete them. I'm not a completionist, so I don't have plans to 100% the Happiness section of the gallery. At least at this point in time, my priority will be to get all the high scoring items first, and then complete any suits I like. Will I complete the limited time housing pavilion? In short, hell no. <laughs> Longer answer, I have very little interest in housing, so I'd rather not dump a ton of diamonds into it. On top of that, I hate pink in general, and this one has an abundance of pink, which is totally not my style. The only things I like from this path are these, and knowing my luck, I'm gonna lose a ton of diamonds for just a few items that I actually want. And which suits should you complete in general? Well, in my opinion, at the end of the day, you should complete whatever you want to complete. And like the Midnight Escape event we just had, you can simply pick what pieces you want, which is awesome, and that saves you a lot of trouble, usually. You only need to complete suits if it just happens that you need to complete it for completion items if you're a completionist or just happen to like everything. But if you care about high school items, I'd recommend completing for the Vows of Love because the veil you get, which is Nuptial Vow, for completion is one of the best items across the suits, at least for now. I will cover the stats for the new suits that are introduced in the current round of happiness as well as the previous round of happiness suits. In a few other videos, I'll put a link to that video somewhere on the screen. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked the video, press that thumbs up button. If you have any thoughts about today's video, want to answer today's question, or just have a general comment or question, feel free to post a comment down below. If you want to watch more videos from me, hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell as well to make sure you're notified whenever I upload a video. And I'll catch you in my next video, guys. Bye!